Welcome to our series on About the Board. This segment is about the roles and responsibilities of the board treasurer. According to the bylaws, the treasurer of ILTA's board of directors has two major responsibilities. The first is to review detailed financial statements and work with the chief executive officer to ensure that the board of directors has the necessary and accurate financial data to properly inform its decision-making. Second is to prepare or cause to be prepared a statement of accounts and in all reasonable time shall exhibit the books and accounts to any officer of director or director of the corporation. In addition, the bylaws require the treasurer serve on the AFIC or Accounting, Finance and Investment Committee. It does not, however, require that the, the treasurer be the chair of the AFIC. We want to make it clear that the treasurer does not maintain the financial records of the organization. The treasurer has access to all bank accounts and can view them. The treasurer has the ability to approve the transfer of monies and other financial transactions above thresholds that are set by the board. Currently, the threshold is 250,000 and it is reviewed annually. The treasurer does not, however, maintain a checkbook. Similarly, the treasurer does not individually prepare the financial statements for the organization. ILTA employs a VP of HR and Finance. That individual and that individual's team are responsible for maintaining all financial records and producing reports and dashboards as required by the AFEC and the board. As noted, the treasurer can also approve and co-sign payments. Because ILTA does all its banking and payments, by either sending checks through the bank or by using wire transfer. The approval of the treasurer takes place usually via an email or other situation of record to allow the transfer to take place. Other responsibilities of the treasurer include authoring the letter from the treasurer that appears in ILTA's annual report and presenting ILTA's financial report at the annual meeting of the corporation. The treasurer, also in conjunction with the VP of HR and Finance, keeps the board informed on all financial matters and assists in the development of appropriate reports and dashboards to ensure the directors have a good financial view of the organization.